Hello everyone, it is time for my January beauty favorites, my favorite video of the month. And today's favorites is actually a collab with my friend Patricia Bright. So her favorites are also going up today. I'll have the link to that video listed down below. If you're not already subscribed to Patricia, I suggest that you go over there because she's so funny and so fashionable. Whenever Patricia does a fashion video, I'm like, Damn, I need to go shopping. She always looks so cool and she does lots of other beauty videos. She does lots of health and fitness videos. So go subscribe to her channel and check out her January beauty favorites. I have all of my favorites behind me. So I'm just gonna try to grab one here. Okay, the first thing is the YSL Youth Liberator Serum Foundation. I've spoken about this before. I feel like it was quite a while ago though and I've just like fallen back in love with this foundation. I think it's so nice. It's a really nice color match for me. I'm wearing it today. And the name Youth Liberator, it really does make sense because it kind of gives a youthful glow to the skin. I would say it's like a semi dewy foundation, but not like super dewy not super dewy. It is really lightweight, so it is kind of like a serum texture. It's not heavy, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin, which is really good. And I've just been wearing it every single day this month. You can wear it in lots of different ways. So sometimes I'll just use my beauty blender, apply a little bit for a really thin layer just to even out the skin tone and stuff. But I'd say you can also get medium coverage from this as well. So if you're having kind of like a spotty day like I am right now due to hormonal issues, I'm mad at everybody. Um, no, but I have like lots of spots on my forehead and stuff, which is actually very unusual for me. That doesn't usually happen, but yeah, this has been covering it up and it feels quite light on the skin at the same time. So really been loving that. So I just mentioned that I'm having a few breakouts right now, but for the most of the month, I'd say my skin was pretty good. And I think this helped a lot. It was the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydra Firm Sleeping Cream. So just look at this kind of as a moisturizing face mask. I get really dry skin for some reason. I My skin's just been getting so dry. I don't know. I kind of wake up and I'll see like dry splotches, you know, in random areas of my face, which is kind of difficult when you go to like put makeup on and stuff. So I've been using this and it's just a really thick kind of like moisturizing face cream. It's just, it's so good if you've got dry skin. I also think it's great because there's no added fragrance to it. It's really good for sensitive skin. And I just, I love everything about it. It doesn't like, yeah, like I said, it doesn't have a scent, just smells like nothing. So when I put it on, I don't feel like it's gonna irritate my skin and I feel kind of comfortable to sleep in it. So I love that. I mix a few drops of my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery um, oil in with this and it's just, I wake up and my skin is like, thank you for making me have a drink overnight. I feel like my next favorite is kind of boring, but I love face powders. And this is the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. It says rice protein complex, which sounds very fancy. But since I've been wearing the YSL foundation, it is quite dewy. And I have been getting a little bit of shine, like extra shine that some people might like, but I just like to kind of set it down. And this powder is so, so good. I have the shade Invisible 10, which I really like because it doesn't change the color of my makeup or anything like that. And I think it lasts for a really long time. Doesn't look powdery or cakey or anything. It's very lightweight. So if you're looking for a new powder from the drugstore, this is a really cool one. <laughs> this is really cool though. It's really good. Eyeshadow wise, I have a new little combo that I've been loving. The first one is the Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is in the shade Creamy Beige. And I did a blog post about this because it's actually a dupe for one of my favorite MAC products, which is the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Groundwork. I feel like I'm doing a lot of pointing, but I love the Groundwork Paint Pot. And this is, well, you can look at the swatches I did on my blog, but it's pretty much exactly the same, which is really great. So if you've been wanting to try out Groundwork, just try to pick this up first because it's a lot cheaper and pretty much exactly the same. So it's just a very neutral, I feel like it's quite a sophisticated light brown shade. I always like to use a cream eyeshadow as a base for my powder eyeshadow. So anyway, I just always use that. I've been using that all month. And then I've been putting this on top, which is the oh so fancy Burberry eyeshadow in the shade Rosewood. And the packaging is so beautiful. If Burberry does one thing right, it's eyeshadows. They're so creamy, they're so pigmented, and they're just so amazing, especially if you're a neutral lover like me because they kind of take a neutral color and 
add something special to it so it's like nothing else you've ever seen. I always feel like there's a tiny little bit of purpley plum in there, but it's mostly taupe and it's got a little bit of shimmer in there. So I just take the Maybelline, you know, thing and put it on the bottom and then I just add a little bit of this all over the lid and I feel like it's just a little something something. I don't know. I just, I love this so much. And then I usually put um, like a regular brown sort of boring shade in the crease just to kind of deepen it up And that's the eyeshadow look I've been going with for a lot of this month eyebrows are a favorite topic of mine I finally got my eyebrows threaded yesterday after pretty much like three weeks of not having them done It was insane when I was sitting in the chair the woman who was threading my eyebrows was like When's the last time you came to get your eyebrows done? I was like it's been a very very long time so she finally you know it's done I feel like myself again, but for the most of the month I've been using this which is the Bobbi Brown Natural Brow Shaper. It's in the shade Slate. I love um, brow gels. I think they're so convenient. They're really easy to just go look, do, 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 and then that's it. Now since I have quite like sparse eyebrows, I usually take my eyebrow pencil and kind of fill in the tail end here and then I use this to kind of like do the rest. But this shade is so perfect for me. It's not too gray, it's not too orangey, it's just amazing. But what I like about this the most is that it sets. So once you apply it, it just sets and it stays all day long. It's so, so good. One downside to this is I feel like the brush can sometimes add a little bit too much to your eyebrows. Like. I don't know, sometimes I feel like it kind of like gets a little gloopy. So I just always have a spare spoolie, I think that's the technical term, spoolie, and just kind of like brush through it. But I do that anyway. So not a big deal for me. I love the color and I love the way that it lasts and sets and keeps my eyebrows looking the same all day long, which is crucial. Last favorite is a bit of a throwback if you've been watching YouTube videos for a very long time. This is the 17 lipstick. I think it's called, yeah, they're Mirror Shine lipsticks. And this is the shade Belle. So I remember back in the day in the same range, there was one called Beehive and everybody was like, that was like the it product, you know? And it's just a really sheer lipstick. It's nothing like super special, but I loved it. Actually, I do remember what happened to it. It melted, it melted once in the summertime and I had to get rid of it. But I was out shopping. I don't know when, it must've been like closer to the beginning of the month. And I'd realized that I didn't bring any lip products, no lip balm, no lip, tint, no lipstick, and I was like, this can't go on. So I went into Boots and I was kind of like browsing around and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot all about this. So I bought it and I remembered how much I loved it. Now they since changed the packaging. I'm a little annoyed because it has this like mirror in here, which always just seems to get in the way of everything. And I just don't feel like you need to use a mirror with this because it's so sheer, but it's just a nice everyday color. If you want a little bit of gloss, it's really moisturizing and it smells like old school lipsticks. Like this really is a throwback to me. I just I, I just wanted to mention it because it was quite nice. And if you're looking for a nice neutral everyday lipstick, this could be the one for you. It's really nice. So those are all of my favorites. Not too many this month, I know. It's been a good month, I'm glad it's over. January is never like the best month. I feel like there's nothing super exciting going on in January. But my next video will be my first book club video, so make sure you finish reading Yes Please by Amy Poehler if you're getting involved in the book club because that's gonna be my next video. So I think I'm going to wrap it up for now. Make sure you go check out Patricia's January Beauty Favorites. If you're not already subscribed to her, please do it because I know you'll love her. She's just got a great attitude and a wonderful outlook on life. She's really positive, so go check out her video and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. All of my social media links will be listed down below, like Twitter and Instagram, etc. I'm at Essie Button, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! And then inside I have my insoles because I am about 150 years old. No, I just need some arch support, okay? It's nothing to be ashamed of, says my mom.